I don't know if I feel sad or happy or content or whatever. It's just that um, these 31 days were so um, unbelievable. It was my first time doing it in October and uh, oh my god. I don't have the words for this. It is so, so rewarding on so many levels. And I had you to help me. Thank you. Thank you for helping me get through this. I really appreciate you. Your comments, your uh, encouragements, your support really helped me get through these 31 days. I think it's an experience to remember. It's not my first time doing uh, daily art for uh, a longer period, but uh, it is the first time doing Inktober. It is the first time making daily art and posting videos daily as well. And uh, this part uh, was uh, harder than I thought because uh, I wanted the videos to look good. I wanted the art to be <laughs> good on some level. I hope it was good. I'm usually the person that goes all the way when I commit something. And uh, I work pretty well under stress. And this is something that helped me go through Inktober uh, because um, making uh, art every day, creating something for each prompt and uh, filming and editing, it is, um, it was, <laughs> it was, <laughs> oh boy, sometimes it was exhausting, yes, uh, at first, at least the first week, it was exhausting, I felt exhausted, uh, near the weekends I felt frustrated, I, uh, I am a mother and I know that my family needs me also, and um, being that person that commits with the heart and soul to uh, something, um, it is really easy for me to neglect some other aspects of my life and uh, I didn't want to neglect my family and my children and the time that they need to spend with me so it was rough on weekends, yes uh, and there were some days when I um, tried to work on two prompts and to film at least something and uh, then edit it at night so I have the material for the next day so I can spend the time with my family. Uh, I didn't always uh, manage to do that but it was something I tried at least. There were some questions from you guys and um, no. A pretty complex one coming from Donny Miss. I uh, hope I uh, pronounce it well. Uh, and it says like this: So, so October it's almost done. How did it go for you? Next October for sure or never again? Well, Donny, it went great. It uh, it had its ups and downs. It was uh, exciting. It was, um, how can I say, it was overwhelming sometimes, it was um, going as smooth as butter, so to say, other times, uh, overall it was amazing. Uh, it's amazing how if you push through uh, your resistance level, you can uh, get to have a wonderful uh, result next Inktober for sure or never again you ask? Well, um, I would say next Inktober for sure because I liked it so much but let's see where the next year takes me. I, uh, I don't want to make this commitment from now on because uh, I believe that there are many things that could happen until then. 
and um, there are plans that I make and uh, I don't know how busy I will be next year but if I uh, will have the time to do it for sure I will do it because this was amazing what did you take out of this project well the biggest treasury of it was that I was doing something for my own benefit and uh, for my own satisfaction and uh, not for um, <laughs> not for income purpose not being paid for it so that is something new for me and that is something that uh, this channel is about for now because uh, I'm uh, used to work on commission and uh, I'm used to get paid for my work but uh, working on commission doesn't allow me allow me to express my creativity so it, uh, it was a really nice surprise uh, doing this challenge and uh, doing things that I don't normally do I usually do portraits a lot and uh, I uh, didn't have the chance to do illustrations so uh, I enjoyed it I enjoyed it very much <laughs> but as they say uh, love goes through the stomach so I have to feed my family and I'm sad that it's over I'm happy that it's over I'm uh, satisfied how it, how it worked Nick Higgins asked me if um, my Inktober drawings, uh, drawings and paintings are uh, original concepts and um, he, want, he was wondering what was the inspiration and how um, I uh, and how and if I plan each uh, drawing so I wanted to show you something this is what I started with okay this was my plan for October um, I did this uh, I believe two days before October started I took uh, one uh, evening one night and I took each prompt and um, I spent five to ten minutes uh, thinking for each prompt uh, what I could do with it so for some of them I had some kind of idea of what to do but for others I didn't for example for tick I had no clue what to do I was not doing sketches because there was not too much time so when Nick told me that uh, he would love to see my sketches I uh, started to take sketching uh, more seriously and um, I can tell you that it helped me a lot but before that this is how my sketches look so very elaborate sketches this is for the roof this is for uh, stock I don't know if you can see it this is for um, thick yes and uh, with some notes uh, so for thick I um, I wrote thank you for watching the show to the end how long is forever? Sometimes just one second. So let's see. This is my body of work, you guys. Day one, crystal. I was uh, thinking about the diamond, and uh, as I love uh, forest 
landscape and the misty landscapes. I was uh, thinking of an enchanted forest and um, the crystal uh, surrounded by trees and uh, lighting this place in the forest. Okay, so here it is. You saw me drawing this one at the beginning of my first video. And the final piece, suffering some modifications, of course. The next one was suit. I had something in mind, some animal in suit or something like this. This is what it came out when my fluffy, my cat fluffy came out, came to my window and um, it inspired me. To do something like that. Day three vessel. So uh, for this one, uh, my friend Cheryl uh, pointed out um, Emily Dickinson's court. There is no frigate, frigate, frigate. There is no frigate like a book. So thank you, Cheryl, for that quote. I didn't know that, but um, I believe that books have an an enormous power and uh, that they are really important in our lives um, also I had no sketch for this day four not this was the first one I had a clear idea what I wanted to do um, at least I uh, knew how I wanted to start it but uh, as I was drawing it I um, saw that this it was uh, somehow like a river and I uh, framed it uh, between these rocks and it's like a river flowing in a knot Day 5? Is this? Raven Raven! For this one I wanted a raven to cover a girl's eyes and uh, it was the first time I was using my um, alcohol inks for uh, color accents wanted to try my masking fluid pen and I, uh, I loved how this white hair effect this was the sketch for this that's what I did I'm sorry I have nothing more next one it was spirit and um, I loved how well the white hair came out here and this inspired me to do like a uh, spirit in a in universe something uh, something like a ghost so I was also using my masking fluid here and I really love this one and uh, this is also one of your uh, favorites judging by uh, the comments and uh, by the views no sketch for that either next one is a uh, fan i didn't have a clear idea what i wanted to do with it and um i knew i was good at portraits so i decided to do something uh, in my car in my comfort zone and i did this uh, lace fan over the girl's face uh, no sketch for that either because I um, I thought that I would lose time by doing a sketch. Uh, Eight watch. Uh, I uh, did something like uh, well, I was the I was thinking about my uh, my family, and I remembered the. Um, one photo that we took in one of our trips uh, where um, my husband was holding my daughter's hand and they were walking outside this building and I also did a painting uh, uh, for them that was uh, something that inspired me I also did a commissioned work for a client and uh, it was supposed to be something like you are growing in your mother's eyes that was the inspiration for this uh, next one is uh, pressure 
so at first for this one I was feeling uh, like I wanted to come up with something uh, funnier and uh, some of you said that it's uh, I don't know if uh, the comment was on my YouTube channel or uh, if it was on um, on uh, one of the Inktober group, Facebook groups someone said that is like uh, the teapot from Beauty and the Beast and I guess that um, that where my inspiration came uh, and day 10 pick so this was one of your favorites too and um, I like how this came out like a children's book illustration. I had in mind uh, something like uh, picking your road in life. Um, at first, uh, at, le at least that's uh, what the word suggested me, pick your own road. But first I was thinking about uh, a couple holding hands. So uh, you could see only the hands holding and two separate roads and you will have to pick if you go uh, together on one road or you will uh, pick separate separate ways um, but again i felt that it was a little bit dramatic so uh, i wanted something um, more fun i chose this um, child illustration like theme and I, uh, I wanted to express something okay I wanted to express uh, I wouldn't say fear but uh, the concern if I'm choosing right so I wanted her face to express that and I hope I uh, did it well next one is sour I didn't want to make something sour like the taste sour so uh, I thought of sadness and to point out that thing that uh, we see people smiling every day but we never know if uh, under that smile is truly happiness or uh, or if they or if they hide sour inside this is one of my favorites I really like uh, her expression I really like um, how it uh, turned out and um, it's something funny I liked how uh, the masking fluid was looking on her hair and I'm thinking that at some point I will do uh, another one with blue hair I think it would look great oh my god day 12 stuck so let's see this is one of the of those days that I was trying to do two prompts in one day but uh, after uh, after doing this I uh, was putting I, I really loved doing this and I was putting so much into it I and I was so satisfied of how it turned out that uh, I don't know I felt like I wanted to rest and um, I didn't have a good idea of what to do with stuck I was thinking about a um, butterfly with his wing stuck on a door or something like that and uh, I did this uh, it's a it's a like a fairy or a girl butterfly uh, with her wing stuck under a flower but I I really didn't like it so uh, after doing this I uh, I decided to do to redo it to do another one so the next day I did this and I didn't like this either too much but it's I think it's much better than the, than the first one uh, I had the time to do more details 
and uh, for this one uh, her wing is stuck uh, between some uh, lamp mushrooms and this is the sketch for stuck it is a rough sketch just to give me an idea for the position of the body for the body position and um, this is another one uh, this is something like she would try to pull herself out of that uh, fantasy world okay oh and uh, here on the back i did another sketch uh, this is the first attempt to sketch it this is the same idea with the wing stuck under the flower like this one so there you go next one day 13 roof also one of your favorites and one that i um, have a lot of fun with and this is the point um, and this is the one where uh, nick higgins told me that he wanted to see more of my sketches and uh, he was wondering where my inspiration came from and um, I told him uh, then that um, the, the first thing that inspires me is the uh, word that the prompt list gave me so um, when I read Roof I was thinking of um, safe I don't know why I I was thinking about my home and how I felt safe inside my home and um, when I say home I don't really mean a house I uh, I, uh, I think about the family and uh, being a family under a roof I think about happiness and uh, peace and, um, and joy and uh, playing with the uh, kids and reading to my kids. I remembered about the times when I uh, read my kids uh, books when uh, they went to sleep. So um, uh, this is something I uh, did from that memory. And I also discovered that I like mushrooms so uh, this is the uh, color accent and of course the trees I like uh, drawing trees and uh, that was the sketch for it okay this is the sketch for roof so all these sketches were done in one day um, and um, what I'm trying to say with this is that I was trying to get ahead of it and um, to at least to think of something and to have a clear idea, idea of what I wanted to do. Okay, next one is... Dun, 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 tick! Oh my god, what do I do with that I did this first list I had no clue no idea what to do with it it wasn't telling me too much but um, as I got near it I was thinking about uh, ticking clock ticking time passing um, the the hard feeling when you try to sleep and you hear the clock ticking in silence tick tock tick tock um, oh my god i hate that sound i <laughs> i could not sleep with the with the clock like that in my house there was uh, one time in my childhood that i took the clock out the wall and uh, put it in the laundry basket and covered it with uh, dirty laundry so um, this is what I came up with Dick. I uh, was thinking about the uh, time passing and the uh, silence and then I uh, thought about um, uh, a theater scene 
And um, then I remember the um, a movie scene in the Hitchcock's movie Spellbound um, that was designed by Salvador Dali. Uh, and uh, it had uh, eyeballs inside the curtains. And I really like, I really like the vibe. I really like the creepiness. The sketch for this one. This is the only sketch I did for this one. And uh, my note for it was uh, thank you for uh, thank you for watching the show to the end. How long is forever? Sometimes just one second. There is no time. Going further, there is helmet. And this is uh, one of my favorites. I couldn't uh, do something without colors anymore and I wanted colors so badly and I knew that my um, that my uh, alcohol ink don't work well on uh, watercolor paper and uh, that they uh, sip through the paper but uh, for this one I had this idea to load the paper with water so that the alcohol wouldn't um, penetrate the paper through immediately and uh, this is the one that I love it and I had uh, in my mind something like a Spartan helmet or something uh, like this as uh, a mice house or as a shelter for animal forests but then I um, then I decided to bring it more into our worlds and uh, I was thinking about uh, my ideal world world where uh, these helmets are, are, are useless and I hope that those days are coming soon um, I also received a comment from one of you telling me that uh, they lived in uh, such area and it broke my heart I I don't know how to tell you how sorry I am that these things happen to in our days and uh, oh my god I hope it will stop This is the only use case for helmets like this. I hope there won't be any other use for war helmets. This is the one. Okay, this. Oh, this is the sketch for helmet. So um, I started sketching this. And um, I wish I usually don't sketch, uh, so don't do my sketches in such detail. But I um, got carried away with this one. I got emotional. Day I'm getting to day 16. Compass. So uh, for this one, I started to make sketches. Let's see. And uh, this is one of the sketches for um, compass. I was thinking of an owl's eye and uh, guidance. And uh, the other one, and the one that I uh, followed, is this one with the butterfly wing. It's more like a um, tattoo design style. So yes, this is how it turned out. I also used uh, my alcohol inks and I, uh, I did this in purple. Next one is Collide. I was thinking about the crash and about uh, um, how we feel more often than we would want 
these days how our world collapses. And uh, I did uh, this snowball crashing and, and breaking. And this is the sketch. Okay, only one sketch. Making this. And this is how it turned out. Next one is moon. Yeah. Moon. For moon. Look. This is what alcohol ink does on watercolor paper. It seeps right through it. And uh, this is moon. And I really loved this one. I was thinking of something like is the universe hugging the moon, making it shine? Or is the moon hugging the universe, enlightening it? I really enjoyed this one. And this is the sketch for you. Oh, look, I made a little note here. The universe gives you a hug so it can shine bright. This is a message for you guys. And for me. The universe gives us a hug so we can shine bright. So it is time for us to shine bright. Next prompt is uh, loop. This is my loop and uh, this is the sketch for loop. I will try to make and also make some pictures for you to see it better. This is the sketch for loop that I did and this is the final piece. Um, the, for this one I took advantage of, uh, of this pen. So I found out on Collide that uh, this pen that is from um, Faber Castell, Faber Castell Grip Fine Pen. Uh, this one activates with water and uh, it gives a, a lovely blue shade. Next one is Sprout. So for Sprout, I had a few sketches. I am too messy, you guys, and I. This is how I did my sketches. First, I drew this. This is like an eye and a tear wetting the sprout and helping it grow. Um, suggesting that um, there is good coming out from suffering. And um, there is also greatness coming out from love. Another one for sprout. You see? And this is what I went with. I was thinking about uh, the safe place, the safetyness and the love you feel in a family. So I was thinking about um, a parent caring for a, for a child. So the child is the sprout. Uh, giggling and playful and growing in peace. Next one is fuzzy. This is my fuzzy. Um, it was uh, quite hard to come up with uh, an idea for this one, uh, but in the end, I was thinking about uh, dandelions, and uh, then I thought that they. Um, fuzzy caterpillar so uh, this is what I came up with and this is uh, one of the sketches and another one and <laughs> that was uh, another idea with a fuzzy caterpillar blowing up a, a balloon or a dandelion something to make him make his cheek oh, his cheeks bloody like a balloon and uh, all round and cute yes you want it to be cute and nice and it came off really cute I really like it next one is open and one of my favorites I I really love 
our face expression uh, and um, the first thing I was thinking about it was uh, an open book or opening something open door open eyes open arms something like that the sketch for is for this is this I wanted uh, a character to open a box and from that box to um, little sparkles to come out and light and something surprising wow what's in there but uh, as i was uh, doing the sketch on the watercolor paper i i thought there were much more many amazing things coming out from books next one is leak so when i did the collide prompt in the same day i did this sketch too so um, on day 23 i knew exactly what i wanted to do and making that snow globe like the water is leaking from it like uh, we have our own life and we feel that our life is leaking out of our world many times there are very good things coming after uh, some events like this. Next one is extinct, and this is my extinct. I was thinking about um, extinct animals, and uh, I thought of doing a cute mammoth, one that is still living in its world like waiting for something to pass on so he can live his life so um, my message for myself and for uh, whoever wants to to hear it is that uh, we need to live our own life no matter what happens around us um, even if uh, life outside our bubble is chaotic as a uh, fuzzy dragon said in one of the comments um, it's still life and it's passing and we need to live it and we need to make uh, as much as we can out of it and to make it beautiful because we make this life beautiful and this world beautiful so live your life and the sketch for this one mm. so i was thinking uh, first of doing a mammoth framed in some kind of frame like coming out from that world and this is the one uh, that uh, inspired this one so this cute little mammoth is living his life inside his bubble and poor of him he doesn't know that he was extinct next is splat so for splat i couldn't think of anything but splattering this is the first sketch i did for this and this is the one that I used. Okay, and I really like how this turned out too. 26 connect, and this is what I did. For this one, I was first thinking of something like this uh, two body silhouettes one made of water one made of fire and um, the um, impossibility impossibility of connecting then i was thinking about uh, two owls two birds um, on a branch and uh, then about um, opposite colors black and white connecting um, uh, something like being and young and I was uh, thinking about swans a white swan and a black swan and this is what I came up with 
Next is day 27 spark. This is spark sparkles all around. You know, uh, those fireworks that you hold in your hand. I really loved those when I was little and I love them now. I really like it. I wanted to, um, to do something that expresses joy. So spark it is. Next one is uh, crispy. It was a very hard one because the only thing I could think was was uh, crispy KFC, crispy wings, <laughs> crispy food. <laughs> oh my god! But then I uh, remembered that Christmas is coming, and um, I remembered about the Christmas cookies. This is like. Um, uh, Halloween is uh, hunting uh, Christmas this year. Yes, something like that. So, this is crispy day 28. Next one is patch. And I love how this turned out. First, I was thinking about a pirate patch, eye patch. This is the first sketch I did for patch, so like a uh, pirate patch and a black eye. And the second sketch is like um, this dreamy face with a uh, butterfly covering one eye and the, and the other eye shut. Uh, like uh, it was sleeping and dreaming and I was um, thinking that the light could come um, from underneath the butterfly and uh, I decided to somehow combine the two sketches so I uh, kept the black eye and uh, the butterfly patch I really like it it's one of my favorites too next one is slither this was a really hard one too because uh, the first thing that came to my mind was a snake and I wanted to do something different something like uh, a medusa head a face lying down and uh, all the hair snakes uh, slithering away or something like a uh, female body also like medusa um, in a sitting position and the uh, snakes slithering around her body. I wasn't satisfied with those sketches and uh, thinking of slither I was thinking of snake and thinking of snake I was thinking of um, vanity. I included this broken mirror and that is what I did. A, um, a beautiful uh, hand mirror broken and a snake slithering uh, around the mirror and uh, the hand holding the mirror yes this is vanity this is slither and the last one is risk i was uh, thinking of uh, daily risks that we take and uh, I remembered of uh, some risky things I was doing when I was little and that was watching the world from height so I liked to open the window and sit on the edge of the window looking down and uh, feel the wind uh, blowing my hair and this is what I, uh, I did I always like to add some dynamic in my paintings so I, I made it look like the wind is blowing her hair and um, to make it more uh, dynamic I added a flower and petals flying away carried away by the wind so this is a part of my childhood and I really like this one because uh, it brings back memories and I like uh, the light effect on it 
and it's also one of my favorites. So if I were to pick my favorite, I don't know which one it is, but I would love to know uh, what are your thoughts on my Inktober journey and uh, what uh, you would like to see more on this channel because this is not the end of it i feel the need to take a little break i will uh, come back to weekly videos um perhaps on fridays as usual um the upcoming period is um busier but i will try to create uh, weekly content for this channel too so it it would be really helpful to know what uh, would you like to see more of on here this is my inktober journey this is my first time doing inktober and uh, going all the way to the end for 31 days and I am so grateful that I did it. I am so grateful that I had the time to do it. Thank you all for watching. And um, thank you for being with me. And thank you for watching my videos. And thank you for uh, your wonderful support. And thank you for your wonderful comments. Thank you. I. It's hard for me to say please like share and subscribe but i really wish that you find on this channel the reason to do so i really wish that you find here the reason to like the videos and subscribe to see more of them and uh, i really wish that you feel like sharing them so thank you very much thank you Bye-bye.